International Film Festival The Hague. Basically, she reviewed uh, the the custom, uh, the custom selections, the set dressing, the lighting. Everything was related to color. She was a consultant for that from the, uh, 1934 to 1949. And this is uh, um, one of her uh, reports, actually she, uh, it was a paper that she published on a, on a news magazine, where she was telling her idea about how color should be. I can tell you, this is the significance of color was, was the, the title of the, the paper. Uh, it's, a, it's basically a quick reference card that she was using. Um, of course, this is uh, something she invented. You can agree, you could, maybe you do not agree. But for, is it that um, the color can affect us psychologically? <laughs> I would say probably yes, yes uh, it's, it's true, um, and uh, sometimes you can see that um, when you use light colors, very bright colors and, and low saturation, uh, is giving you some soft feeling. This is uh, where, where you have uh, um, yeah, your kids. Uh, room, right? With with the colors, it's not bright uh, too much, uh, uh, not dark uh, colors. Now here you see uh, like an orange and a, and a black, but I assure you these are red and black. <laughs> so it's uh, orange and gray, but this is uh, uh, red and black. So if you can uh, find the remote control, you can you remove the contrast a little bit. You we will see better colors there. <laughs> But anyway, uh, again, it doesn't matter because anyway, it's, uh, it's just a theory. Huh? So the color in films, they can change the mood, the plot atmosphere, uh, the emotions, but especially the perception of people. And sometimes we don't realize that. We just, we have it, but we don't know why. So let's see then what is that the uh, director uh, choose when uh, when the, uh, when you choose a color for for movies. Why you decide some colors? Now, I see that's yellow, but it's not yellow. It's orange. Believe me, it's orange. <laughs> this this is orange um, because it's in the, it's in the desert. Um, and you know, this is all the colors that are used in these frames. It's called palette. Or palette. Um, now, the color, how did they use it? Basically, uh, the main thing is to use it in a st to, to allow the story to, to, to be understood better. Let's look at this, for example, um, a movie, this is Wonder Woman, uh, where it starts with a very nice, and then uh, she decides to, uh, to help uh, the humans for the war. And the world, the, 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 the world is, uh, is um, gray, but she's colorful in the middle, so she's helping the humans. And then the story continues, and they, she wins the war, she wins the war, and uh, everything is going to be fine. And they, she starts again with uh, having some kind of love affair with these uh, warm colors around. So. Now I'll show you the difference in colors in, the, in this TV because uh, these are uh, the colors. You see yellow, red, and blue. The blue is already a bit violet over there, so it's not really blue. This one is a kind of going to the violet, but it's okay. Uh, the three main colors can generate mixing each other the other colors, and the other colors mixing together, they can generate the whole palette, palette of colors. Then there is a kind of uh, idea that this part of the wheel, or this part, let's say, 
is a uh, warm colors and the other part the bluish one is the, the cold, uh, cold color but it's not only that there is a, apparently a lot of uh, things associated to the colors now do you agree with these things I mean do you spot one wrong for example a wrong one anybody That's, that's a very interesting, uh, because I wanted to show you, um, there, were, there was, um, uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, do this question, but let's go on and I'll show you something else. There is this guy, Robert Plutny, Plutchi, sorry, that create, uh, uh, associate the colors to the general emotional response, and create this color wheel. So now, this one is uh, the, the color you were mentioning, and yeah. it is associated to loathing, disgust, and boredom. Yeah. <laughs> Just not this is, that, was, that was a theory in psychology. Um, but there, is a, there are other theories. For example, there is this lady, uh, Patti Bellantoni, and she's uh, uh, giving, uh, um, you know, we, um, seminars. Uh, at university about colors and she wrote this book and the book, the book is, is if it's purple somebody's going to die uh, the theory is that there is something in the movies when the, the, the purple color is involved that <coughs> is preparing to uh, killing or, or, or uh, the loss of something maybe not, uh, not a, a real killing but somebody can die without without being killed, you know. So it's something like that, and uh, that was the that was the explanation about the the cover. Uh, so, <laughs> so a lot of a lot of theories, but on top of this, and he was using this as a as an example, but this example I think was wrong because this is in India. He was saying in India the, he's using white color for a funeral. But in India, I was told by eminent people here that is wrong. <laughs> that, the, that, that the color white is used, actually used in India for, uh, for the funerals in some part of India, probably. So it's not always true what we see. We see uh, a funeral can be any color. Other things are, I, I, I show you another uh, Indian movie. This is. Uh, Monsoon Wedding, in this movie uh, won the Golden Lion at Venice International Film Festival in 2001, I think. Um, now, if you, if you look this from uh, uh, an Italian perspe perspective, for example, I can say she's wearing like uh, a virgin and the red in the back and the gold is like uh, a message that she's somehow having a passion, having something uh, which is uh, almost happening in the movie. But I don't know in India what will be that message with these colors. Maybe somebody can help us. What is the message of the red and the gold in the back in a, in a wedding? Maybe it's a normal one. Yeah, red and gold are normally associated with While for, uh, for uh, Italians, maybe it's not really like that. There is a white, a lot of white in, uh, in a few, in, 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 in the way it is. So, in but the movie. May, may I add something? Gold and red for Clint who was an uh, Austrian. Uh, for example, it was passion and luxury. Uh, Correct. Thank you for the comment. Yes. This, is, this is the difference in, uh, in culture. Yeah. So it's very difficult to, to say um, a psychology in a movie because it's, it's 
is depending on who is watching. The brightness can change and the saturation can change. Yeah. Now these three are the parameters that are creating one color. And it's, you see it's like a 3D representation over there. Um, but how, how, how do you control colors in movies? Basically with, uh, with uh, three things. The production design, meaning the, the set, the color of the set and the costumes. The cinematography, meaning the lights, and the post-production, the color, the color gray. Uh, an example of each of them. Mm -hmm. Production design, uh, this is still uh, Wes Anderson uh, creating this web ending. The um, color sometimes is repeated and it's becoming some kind of motif. Hmm? And it needs to be like that. But there is also some silver. I don't know if you can see it here and here. It's a small amount of, of silver. Ah, why? Why this? Because there is uh, another theory that says that um, a film looks good, looks good when you have this percentage of colors in the in the frame. So 60% prominent color, 30% of secondary color that normally can be a color that matches very well with the first one. Somehow we'll see how. And then a 10% of color that is giving you a spot of disturbance somehow. <coughs> this is an example. Now, uh, unfortunately, this is highly saturated and you, you don't see the background. But okay, uh, still Wes Anderson, 60% red, 30% violet, more or less, huh? and a spot of yellow. That's 10, 10%. But okay, this is one theory, and uh, in, the, in the movies, every director uses his own color palette. So, there is no real rule. The rule is uh, are, um, there is a classification coming after what they are doing. Um, of course, everybody tried to use some colors to identify the story. In this case, the guy is in, uh, in a place where there is not much color because everything is white and gray and blue. And that's the palette. That you, you will see. But very often in the movies, they use uh, lack of colors. So they don't use, like in Robin Hood, a lot of colors uh, altogether. And this was what. what <laughs> this morning I did the same. I said, today blue. Or, uh, no. In this case, this is uh, Blade Runner, the new one, not the, the old one. Uh, uh, Bill Neb used uh, the um, uh, variation of orange going to green, gray stuff. But that's uh, not only uh, this, because in a, um, in a composition of the movie, you can find a lot of things. You can find, and as I said before, nothing is like there because somebody forgot, you know, to put a, to remove a lamp. It's there because they wanted the lamp over there. <clears throat> this is American Beauty. Uh, I'm not giving any spoiler to any movies today, so <laughs> don't worry. But in this, uh, this is a representation of American family, uh, high burgundy, let's say, family. And you, I don't know what you see here, but what I saw when I saw this frame was the American flag. Now this is uh, tricky because there are some stripes. There are blue, red, white, and there are some stars. Of course it's an idea, but I really believe they wanted to do this. And this is not the only example. There are other examples where you can really see they wanted to do this. This is Get Out from uh, Jordan Peele. I love Jordan Peele. And uh, the guy, uh, okay, I'm not going to give you any spoiler, but 
This is, uh, she has the stripes, very clear. He has a blue, it's always a blue. In this movie, red is dangerous. Blue is, um, uh, you, you are in danger, huh? When you, when you wear blue. And there are other wearing re, uh, green and brown. And it's like, like they are, they are, it's, it looks like they are already, already gone, already. Okay, so this is a bit of yeah. <laughs> So the costumes um, are very important because during the story, uh, the costumes are changing. And, and they change depending on the story. So what, what does it mean in a movie? Uh, it's just uh, uh, historical. I mean, uh, uh, in Rome, do they, do they have this, this dress? Is, it, is this what it means? Probably not. Probably it's uh, more uh, a development of the character. And there are uh, examples where it's much more evident. It's already here because at the beginning, the orange uh, it means uh, some kind of uh, reason. Huh? She's, uh, she's the, the brain in the family. Hmm? <laughs> Why Commodore just want to be uh, a king. Uh, then uh, uh, she's becoming less, uh, less secure with the green. Then she's going to white, uh, having this white veil, and again ro uh, orange when she's uh, taking care again of the of of the uh, of Rome, so um, it's it's for sure a thing that the, the dress means something in the movies. There are some movies where it's very evident. <laughs>